until uh, last year when a merit server who is also an alumnus and the school has sort of followed me home. So it will be with me uh, for the rest of my life. Esteemed uh, faculty and staff, uh, proud parents, and uh, most importantly, the class of 2024, uh, Assalamu alaikum Today marks a significant milestone for everyone present. It is a day of celebration and anticipation of future. To be the faculty, to the faculty, your dedication and commitment have prepared this graduating class to face the world's challenges with confidence and resilience. Your unwavering efforts have made this moment possible. And for that, we are all deeply grateful. I think they all deserve a round of applause. And I see a lot of uh, familiar faces today, uh, Mr. Gwazam, Dr. Naveed, Mr. Jafri, who I taught, uh, who taught me and I learned a lot from them. Uh, to the parents, today you should feel immense pride. The love, kindness, diligence, and selflessness you have shown are now bearing fruits. Your unwavering support has helped these young adults gain confidence and believe in themselves. Today, you can safely say it was all worth it. And I think the parents also deserve a round of applause. We remember with heavy hearts three beloved individuals three individuals who had, who had the privilege of knowing very closely. Uh, I would like to start with obviously Miss Margot, who left us very recently. Then another great human being, Mr. Ashraf Nawabi. He left us, he was one of the founders, the main uh, person who initiated the idea of establishing an international school in Lahore. And then another person who was a legend, and his name was Mr. Jeha. And I really miss all three people. And I think uh, we must name and acknowledge them today. Dear graduates, not long ago, I sat in the same classes as you. If someone had told me then that I would be addressing today's graduation ceremony, I wouldn't have believed it. As an average student, I must admit, Neither I nor my teachers would have ever imagined 15 years ago that I would be speaking today. But life is full of surprises. <laughs> but I've personally learned that good surprises only come to those who are selfless, have pure intentions, a big vision, show perseverance and strong faith. My journey has taught me that what seems impossible can indeed become possible. It's okay to dream widely because sometimes your fate is already charted out for you. My late father, Dr. Hassan Murad, whose primary introduction was that of an educationist, he said once, and I quote him, you need to have big dreams. You need to have dreams that none has ever seen till now. The whole world is waiting for those who have great aims. You may be young. You may be young, but you are worthy of the highest dream. And you are worthy of the highest pinnacle of success. My vision of a great life used to be a good education, leading to a great job, developing into an amazing career, and affording an extraordinary life. I received quality higher education abroad, got exposure to professionalism in the first world, and was happy with where my life was headed. But I realized that happiness derived from externalities is not the same as contentment. As contentment, 
stems from within. Growing up, I always heard my father talk about the transformational power of education. I assumed he was right, but never fully understood until I decided to work for him. I saw firsthand how education opens doors of opportunities, breaks the shackles of impoverishment, and enables individuals to do wonderful things for their families and communities. I also saw the mountains some students and their families had to conquer just to afford education. I realized how privileged my life had been and became more involved with our scholarship program. Witnessing the diversity of aid recipients and the challenges they faced, I felt a calling to make higher education accessible to all. Transforming learners to leaders and through this playing a small part in shaping a better future for our great country. But as soon as I found my purpose, I lost my father in a tragic road accident. I was only 26 at that time. It felt as if me and all my dreams were done. It felt as if I did not have a roof above my head. My pillar of strength, my closest friend, advisor, mentor was no more. This loss was unimaginable and irreplaceable. But Allah says, Inna malusri yusra, indeed after hardship comes ease. And he also says, La nafsan illa musaha. Allah does not burden a soul beyond that it can bear. Surprisingly, I could see through the grief and channel my pain and suffering. On the seventh day, I was there sitting in his office, taking responsibility for 100,000 students in 250 educational institutions from K-12 to higher ed across 95 cities of Pakistan. Since then, and for the last five and a half years, I worked day and night to focus my energy on bringing transformative change to youth, providing them opportunities. In this time frame, I expanded our scholarship program from 2 billion to 11 billion rupees, ensuring that financial barriers do not impede the dreams of aspiring students. Our percentage of total students on a scholarship grew from 40% to 62 percent. We have seen thousands of young individuals blossom into scholars, entrepreneurs, successful professionals, and leaders in all walks of life. We have seen women break barriers, differently able and persons perform, differently able person perform wondrous feats, and disadvantaged youth from remote areas, uh, refugees, and minorities outshine those from very privileged backgrounds. But most importantly, I discovered that one thing that was missing, contentment. At 31, I got the opportunity and the privilege to serve as a provincial minister in Punjab for local government transport, mines and livestock. I streamlined off-track foreign funded projects with a billion dollars that saved the country tens of billions of rupees in extra repayments, digitized death, birth, and marriage certificates that stopped extortion and bribery from the common man worth at least five billion rupees, transparently auctioned the cattle markets at a 60% higher value, which brought an additional two billion rupees for the government, led the largest cleanliness drive ever to have been conducted terminated 5,000 ghost employees that saved 100 million rupees monthly due to various interventions in livestock and by notifying the first 
disease control compartment in the history of Pakistan, this year we see a 55% increase in meat exports, totaling to $407 million this year. In transport, we made the metro and orange line free for, free for all students wearing a uniform. This program benefited about 2.5 million students. Uh, to save the environment, we launched a 20,000 electric bike program for university students that too on zero interest. We implemented Excel load and the list goes on. While personal achievements do bring happiness, helping others or your country brings happiness and contentment. And believe me, it is a feeling like no other. Dear graduates, you have been educated at one of the finest institutions in Pakistan. And there is no doubt. You possess the privilege, the understanding, and the potential to look beyond the immediate. As you head out in the world, remember your debt to society. Do not remain individuals with shallow personal ambitions or greed. Keep an eye out for your community, society, and nation. Engage actively in civic life, be it through volunteering or even politics. Your contribution, no matter how small, has the power to create positive change and uplift those around you. Use your education and skills to give back to your communities, helping them build a better future. You are now beginning an extremely important journey of lifelong learning. In your pursuit of academic, professional, and personal goals, cultivate traits that strengthen not weaken your character. Prophet Muhammad said, the best amongst you is the one with the most excellent character. <laughs> Honesty and integrity. Honesty and integrity are paramount. In my career, whether in academia or government, I have seen how integrity shapes decisions, influences actions, and earns wealth that no money or resources can buy. Dear graduates, your life may take you to many various places across the globe, but never forget your roots or your values. Be proud of your heritage and your connection to this great country, Pakistan. Our country, with its rich history and diverse culture, has much to offer. Pakistan is undoubtedly the greatest nation on planet Earth. Here, you can do anything you want to. Here, you can be anything you wish to be. Pakistan is a land of limitless potential. And in the words of John F. Kennedy, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. I assure each one of you that you have the potential to do wonders and the ability to change the world. But your journey will obviously be very, very, very challenging. Embrace each moment with enthusiasm and commitment to excellence. And while talking of excellence, I'm reminded of this Persian couplet by Sheikh Saadi. He said, Kasve Kamal Mun ke Aziz Jaha Shabi. Seek excellence in your work. Seek excellence in your work 
so you can be the beloved of the universe. So if you will do work that is excellent, the whole world will love you. Continue to always seek knowledge. World, the world is fast changing. Alvin Toffler, a futurist, said the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read or write, but they will be those who cannot learn, unlearn, and then relearn. So in this fast changing world, we need to keep an emphasis on continuous learning and self-development. Uphold your integrity. If you do this, you will get weighed in gold and engage with your community and honor your heritage. Finally, to give some hope to the average and below average students, because obviously they are the majority, only 5-10% get straight A's, and I am one of them, so I would like to address them also. So I would just like you in studies, but what helped me succeed and overcome challenges was passionate, undying, relentless, hard work. And I saw the harder I worked, the luckier I got. So this is one thing uh, which you need to remember always. Uh, I, one, I was once told by someone that I had the highest infractions in the service system, maybe worldwide, and <laughs> They, they was, there used to be a seat in front of the class and every teacher in the space in next to my name used to run out because I was so <laughs> mischievous. But <laughs> I channeled those energy positively and I worked hard and uh, got some success. So I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my teachers. I think uh, they deserve all the credit for all the guidance, the uh, you know, advice that you gave the mentorship that you provided, and I am forever indebted. So in the end, I just want to leave you with this idea that you must believe in yourself, and you too can achieve greatness. Thank you so very much. It was a pleasure to address you all, and congratulations to the class of 2024. Thank you so much. Thank you.